Piaggio is celebrating the 60th birthday of its classic three-wheeled scooter, the Arpe Carlesino, with a special limited edition of 999 models. Released by Piaggio in 1948, it was initially intended to be a reasonably priced utility vehicle with a load bed, but the pack mule of the post-war period has changed its spot since then. A manually operated convertible with an 8 horsepower diesel could be yours for just €8,500. Honda's mid-size station wagon, the Accord Tourer, is hitting the road soon with a new comprehensive choice of standard equipment. A six-speed transmission, two-zone air conditioning, electric windows, six airbags, active headrests and ESP with a stability program for trailers can be had for the base price of €26,000. Look for it in showrooms starting in September. This is the new Seat Abiza, and Nico Pets and Bettina Zombikite are ready to test it. Bettina asks if Nico has seen the rims. He thinks the headlights look interesting too. Time to see how much cargo space there is. She says it's quite sporty and wants to go for a ride. Nico asks if he can drive. After the quick inspection, it's time to take a spin, and Nico's happy to get behind the wheel. This latest Seat has been completely revamped. The longer wheelbase and wider tires give the vehicle a more dynamic appearance. At the same time, the new Seat Beats offers more comfort and safety. Electronic stability control is standard equipment. Now it's time for our test drivers to examine the cargo space. It offers 25 liters more than its predecessor for a total of 292 liters. They try to fit in one more crate of water, but there's not enough room. The exterior of the new Seat Ibiza looks modern and dynamic. The steering feels tauter and the suspension tuning has been improved, although it could take a little getting used to for those who desire more comfort. Nico says he likes the suspension, but he's not impressed with the comfort. But for a compact car, it's enough. It features the new aero design concept. The low grille gives the front end its aero shape. The revamp reinforces the fresh dynamic look. The adaptive cornering lights not only bolster safety, but also underscore the sporty look. The sleek lines stretch from the chrome grille all the way to the rear. The Seat's interior impresses with high quality materials, seldom found in compacts. And there's an adequate amount of room in the front and the rear. Bettina says it's really not bad for city driving. The car is neither large nor small. She thinks it's fine for getting around in the city. As a city car, it's fine, he says, and could fit into just about every parking spot. And its fuel consumption is reasonable. The new Seat Ibiza burns less fuel than its predecessor. Thanks to more efficient engines and a new transmission ratio, it not only conserves fuel, but emits less CO2 as well. Audi has fit its Q7 SUV with an incredibly powerful V12 TDI engine. The crossover 6-liter engine generates 500 horsepower and maximum torque of 1,000 newton meters. As a result, the strongest production diesel SUV ever performs almost like a sports car. Equipped with two turbochargers, this Q7 can rocket from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just five and a half seconds. 
In the autumn of 2009, Fiat plans to launch a family-friendly version of the Fiorino. The passenger version of its transporter will be called Cubo, which means cube in Italian. The car will compete against the Citroën Nemo station wagon and the Peugeot Beeper TP, models which are built on the same platform as the Cubo and also cost around 13,000 euros. BMW's top model is 5.2 meters long. The new 7050 Li luxury sedan has a lengthy wheelbase. The 7 Series comes equipped with an adaptive damper control at no extra charge. And the stretched version also includes rear pneumatic suspension. This much comfort practically begs for a chauffeur. But you'd be missing out on some serious pleasure by not getting behind the wheel of BMW's top dog yourself. The 7050 Li looks giant and majestic. The front end is dominated by the tapered headlights and BMW's trademark kidney-shaped grille. Smooth, tasteful lines and the contour edge stretching from the front to the rear enhance the vehicle's beauty. With the press of a button, drivers can change the suspension to four different settings, Comfort, Normal, Sport, and Sport Plus. The comfortable sedan can be turned into a dynamic sports car. For 1,750 euros extra, the 750 Li comes with what's called integral active steering. At low speeds, the rear wheels can turn in the opposite direction of the front wheels, giving a tighter turning radius. The system also provides more stability during lane changes at high speeds. The dashboard's black panel features four round instruments that display additional information in high resolution. The center console leans slightly toward the driver. High quality materials and fine leather emphasize the elegant side of the 750 Li. The longer wheelbase is a boon to rear seat passengers. An additional separate air conditioning system with vents in the roof and an entertainment system with a DVD player and monitors integrated in the front seats are also available. Climate control seats with a massage function make even long journeys a pleasure. Under the hood, the 750 Li packs 407 ponies that catapult the Beamer from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in a mere 5.2 seconds. Newly developed motors simultaneously boost performance and reduce fuel consumption. Besides a V8 bi-turbo engine, a 12-cylinder model is also available. That variant is expected to enjoy high demand in the fast-expanding Russian and Chinese car markets. Other models are already in the pipeline, including one with four-wheel drive. But any prospective buyers hoping to get behind the wheel of a hybrid will have to wait until 2010.